And I said to I said in this masterclass, I said, apartheid didn't lose. Apartheid won. Yeah. The legacy of apartheid is still here. We can get ourselves out of any situation. We can do anything that we want to do. We can be anything we want to be. The topic of apartheid is um, a sensitive topic for many black people. There's a perspective that Ovo Setembewa shares and it talks about how apartheid did not lose. And I'm hoping that in this video, we'll listen to what he has to say with an open mind. Let's not prejudge without listening carefully. Let's have a listen and we'll have a discussion afterwards. And I said to, I said in this masterclass, I said, apartheid didn't lose, apartheid won. Yeah. Apartheid didn't lose. Not only did it won, it's still winning. The project of apartheid was not only about the exploitation of the many for the few. It wasn't just about making black people believe they were inferior. The more insidious project in apartheid, its most successful outcome, and I use the word successful for a lack of a better one, so mm. don't get touched with that, is that apartheid was there to convince black people that none amongst them was worth anything. Kungako today, isita sumtomyam, umtomyam. Umuntu zotili zinkampani umtomyam, umtomyam. Umuntu zokframe, umtomyam. Umuntu zokfagetjele, nyenzondo, umtomyam. Umuntu zokmamba ngentlizi ati sobonu kutiopele la picha, umtomyam. To this day, I do not see any lies in what he says. The youngings say no cap. Guys, I just do not see any lies in, in what he says because look at Twitter. You know, there's something called Black Twitter. Uh, I do not engage in, in those activities because there's a lot of black people fighting other black people. That is just something that I hate to see. And Uvus in this video credits that to apartheid. Uh, we were conditioned to believe that black is inferior and we were conditioned to hate each other. I'm not blaming white people that we live with today, but the legacy of apartheid still exists. And that mindset still exists amongst many of our black brothers and sisters. That is why we skrumana gabi. That is why we do not support each other in business. That is why we don't want to see another black person grow. We are happy when, when we stay on the same level. But when other people level up, then there are levels of jealousy. And that should not be the case. When one black person rises, they have the opportunity to lift another black person. But we are not seeing that today. Because when one black person rises, we rise against that black person and that black person runs away from us. That shouldn't be the case. As black people, we were able to unite during the struggle for apartheid. We were able to be one. Why can't we be one and support each other in business today? You know, let me just share a brief story. When I went to university for the first time and I was studying mechanical engineering and I came across technical drawing, right, graphic communication, as it was called for the first time. Like, man, I, I really struggled with that thing. Now, how many black engineers have gone to those institutions before me and have experienced similar problems, but have not gone back to where they come from to say, guys, these are the pitfalls. Guys, I'm starting a technical drawing sort of class. Guys, I'll be imparting this knowledge so that when you guys go to those institutions, at least you have some experience. That doesn't happen. That really does not happen. If it happens, it's very rare. So we need to have that mindset that, okay, I'm going to open this door. And then once I've entered this door, 
I'll go back and tell the other guys that guys, as you come in, these are the pitfalls. Here's the knowledge so that you guys do not make the same mistakes that I made. Right, like that, that needs to be the case. As one black person enters a new level, we need to support him so that he can come back and say, guys, these are the pitfalls, avoid this, walk this way. That needs to be the way forward. We cannot overcome, we cannot be the level of entrepreneurs that we want to be if there's no people that we climb on top of. There needs to be a way that as the black community, especially you know, in, in South Africa, that's the context uh, from which I'm speaking because that's the lived experience that I have. As young black South Africans or as black South Africans, guys, I love this country, right? I love South Africa and I'm not just talking to black South Africans, but that's just the context, right? We have been pained the most by apartheid and those effects still linger to this day on black people. The legacy of apartheid is still here. And we cannot, guys, you know, I don't want us to make excuses, right? I don't want us to make excuses. We can get ourselves out of any situation. We can do anything that we want to do. We can be anything we want to be. So we, I'm not saying we should blame apartheid for everything. No, that's not what I'm saying. But we need to work together. We need to be each other's stepping stone. We need to open doors, give the template to the guys that come behind us so that they do not fall on the same pitfalls. As the black race, as black people in South Africa, we need to unite and work together. I, this, this, you know, are just difficult subjects and topics for the majority of black South Africans. And, and I understand, you know, we have a traumatic history, but we need to heal, we need to work together, and we need to find a way to move forward. Guys, these are just my thoughts on this particular subject. Hopefully you find value in it. Um, this was another timeless conversation and we'll have many of these. So thank you for joining me. God willing, I will see you on the next one. Cheers for now.